There's a, a longer question, um, quite different to the last two, but um, caught my eye because it's someone who shares a passion that I have. So, uh, dear Alan Franz, I've been a freelance designer for over 10 years, but I've always wanted to put my skills into starting my own business in something other than design. I'm really passionate about coffee and would love to start a coffee related business, but not a coffee shop. I'm sure there must be opportunities for me to, to bring the value of design to other areas of the coffee industry, such as production, distribution, sales, but I don't know where to start. Are there any business tools or processes you would recommend I use to uncover business opportunities for design in another industry like this? Nice. Great question. Who, who doesn't love coffee and is a designer, right? Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> And we're going to talk about one of my uh, favorite tools. Go, go ahead. Go for it. Uh, value chain. So value chain and ecosystem maps. So a value chain is something that helps you understand a product from the sourcing to the user. And it's most suited also for like hardware stuff or th things where you actually have products and not only software. So what you can do is you can look at the steps that are needed in order to like have a coffee at the table in a coffee house or have a coffee in the shelf of a supermarket. And these steps usually include obviously the point of sale, uh, sometimes even something after the point of sale, then you have a, um, Manufact you have a distribution, you have a manufacturer, you have a um, producer, um, you have raw materials, and depending on the industry, many steps in between. And what you can do is you can try to understand these um, steps and find out where there is potential and what, um, what, um, yeah, what challenges they have, what opportunities there might be. And if you want to go one step deeper, then you can draw what's called an ecosystem map for one of these actors. So if you're like, okay, distribution seems to be really hard here. Um, let's have a look at distribution and see what this company in the center of distribution, who are the actors, who are they um, working with, what's the flow of goods, money, and information, so you can dive deep. So these two tools for me are um, really great ones for exploration and understanding the market. Um, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. And an opportunity to put some research skills to the test as well that a lot of designers Yeah. Have. Yeah, and Maybe go work in a, in a coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of the tips that uh, one of our case study founders gives, so the founder of uh, VanMove, is if you want to understand an industry, just become a distributor. And very quickly, by becoming a distributor, you're going to learn about the value chain and who is the strongest player. Um, because that's, and I, I think the person asking this question is already business savvy because by them not wanting to open a coffee shop, they're making a great choice. Coffee shops are notoriously bad business. Restaurants are notoriously bad businesses. By the way, yesterday I checked my hobby. I checked a profitability of a Michelin, one-star Michelin restaurant um, in, in Slovenia. And I was just amazed by their negative profitability. So it's like every year they're making 10%, whatever their revenue is, 10% of that is basically, it's a 10% negative profitability. So let's say if they're making 1 million in revenue, they're making 100,000 loss a year, right? This is not exact numbers, but just give you, giving you an example. Um, and this is like top level restaurant. So, um, Coffee shops, not far off, you know, like, I mean, it's, it's just notoriously hard business. So I totally agree with what Franz is saying. And um, I actually just asked, Ch asked uh, Chad GPT about the strongest player in the value chain of the coffee. And it seems to be companies involved in processing, training and retailing coffee. And uh, examples are Nestle, Starbucks and so on. So it seems like the most value in this value chain is not created towards the end, mm. which is where we usually like to play as designers. like. Let me create a coffee shop. Let me be the, I don't know, uh, just create, um, I'll, I'll, I'll outsource the, the 
making of the coffee and I'll just put the um, the brand on top. It seems that in this case actually it does go towards the beginning of the value chain. So dear, dear listener, you'll have to get your hands dirty. <laughs> coffee roaster. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. God, it, I mean, designers love coffee, don't we? And I'm, like you say, I, I know a few des designers personally who have gone into the coffee shop business and, as you say, notoriously difficult. So, yeah, look a little sooner in the, in the process. Yeah.